Hello and welcome to today's student CPD session, which is looking specifically at the skill of planning. This video is going to show you the importance of it and some strategies you can use and again set your little challenge at the end to apply some of the things we've spoken about during today's session. When it comes to planning, there are a lot of people that start their exam question and jump straight into it. They read it, they think they've understood it and they just get started, which is one way that people think that they are saving time. But actually, they've not really considered the importance of what they're about to do. Just take a minute and again, feel free to pause me at this moment and list as many things that you can think that you plan for. The two pictures you've got on your screen at the moment, one includes a concert. In order for me to get to the concert, I had to think about how I was going to get there. Did I give myself enough time? What route was I going to take? Was anyone sharing the journey with me? The picture on the left was a part of my training for a marathon and half marathon. And again, thinking about the time, how many runs was I going to have to pull in to make sure I could achieve my objective? So just take a second and see how many you can come up with. Hopefully you will have noticed that the things that you plan are normally the things that you want to do well in. I wanted to make sure I was at the concert at the beginning. I wanted to make sure that I was able to fulfil my ambition to complete my half marathon and then go on to train for a marathon. All of the things that are significant you will spend some time preparing for. Now part of your A-level is your revision and that comes under planning. The very first video I recorded for this series looked at the importance of planning and thinking about how you can make sure that your revision supports your progress and makes you the successful candidate during your exam season. But it doesn't stop before the exam starts. Planning is a key part of the exam response itself and often in the past as when I've been a marker we've been able to give students marks based on the detail of their plan if they haven't been able to complete the entire essay. We have to assess whether they would have succeeded, they would have completed all of their ideas if they'd have had the additional time. So when we start to think about planning it becomes crucial to us and we start to see that actually it's often dismissed as waste of time but can be the difference between a student doing particularly well and a student getting the question wrong. And remember, there's always that video about reading the question and understanding it. If you head to Google, it won't take you an awful lot of time to find a variety of different planning tools that are available. These are just a few, and as you can see, there are plenty. You can even start to move along the top row of those different tags, thinking about ones that you can take and adapt and use for yourself. The main point of this video is to get you used to planning quickly and responding to the question appropriately. And again, thinking about the demands of the question, you will have heard videos where I explore the different levels of marks and how much time you still should spend on each question. If, for example, a sociology question is four marks, I wouldn't expect you to plan the response. If the question is 30, I absolutely would. The more significant the event or significant the question, the more planning required. Take that original point that I made to you today. Planning a concert took effort. Planning to go to the supermarket? I can kind of just do that, but I would still need to consider how much petrol I had in my car. Do I need to be back? Do I need a list of items to remember? Planning is a part of our natural day-to-day -day existence, and so we shouldn't dismiss it when it comes part of our assessment. Your challenge today is to go through this website, so go to Google or any search engine and enter essay planning template. You will get a lot of them. I want you to pick three. Download, copy, screenshot, um, any, recreate three. And I want there to be differences between them. Then critically evaluate the planning tool. Imagine that you're interviewing these as candidates for those that are going to be your assistant in the exam. How are they going to help you? Are they efficient? Do they work for you? Is there not really a suitable match between you and the thing that's going to help? and make sure that you get so confident using them 
that when it comes to the assessment, you're not tempted to run straight into the question, but instead you're wanting your personal planning assistant by your side to make sure that you cover the entirety of the demands of the question. Make sure you find what works for you. What I find helpful and what you find helpful might be different, but in any eventuality, you will be expected and will be helped if you make sure you plan properly.